First you have to set up few things. Add Sapphire and Ticket Toolbot to your server. Create a private category. Newly created tickets will be added here. Create a public channel. Members will apply for staffs from this channel. Then create two private channels. Ticket codes and submissions. On submission channel you will receive all the submission and ticket codes channel are used to create tickets. Make sure both Ticket Tool and Sapphire have access to this channel. On this server both of them have admin permissions. Create a new role called Applied for Staff and place it below Sapphire's role. This is completely optional. Go to Discord Auto Mod Settings and create a new Auto Mod role. Add the regex, asterisk, and hit enter key on your keyboard. Uncheck this block message option and enable send alerts. Then select the submission channel. Here add all the categories and channels except the private category for newly created ticket that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Now go to Sapphire dashboard and click this refresh button to fetch the changes we made on Discord auto mod settings. If you see the staff app's auto mod rule here then you set up the auto mod correctly. Add a new condition and choose the action add roles and select the applied for staff role. We will come back to this option later on this video. Create the message templates for Sapphire now. I will leave a link to this website on the description so that you can easily copy paste the raw code to create templates like I do now. You can customize these messages however you want, so feel free to customize it to your needs.
Since we use the raw codes to create the message templates, this button component will be automatically created. Add the action send message and choose the initial confirmation message template and make sure the FR email is turned on. Add the action send channel message and choose the ticket codes channel. Then select the message template ticket code. Now create a custom command called staff questions and add the action send message, then select the question message template. Register the slash command with the option respond FR email enabled. Go to the auto moderation page and add the option send message. Then select the final confirmation template. You can leave rest of these options as default, it doesn't matter. Now, let's set up Ticket Tool. Click this refresh button to fetch the changes we made on Discord on Server Configs page. Make sure the command prefix is set to dollar sign. Copy Sapphirebot's ID and enter it here. Create a new panel on any name you want I name it as Staff Apps. Here choose the private category for newly created ticket that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Here you can edit the message ticket tool send on the newly created tickets. You can add your staff apps questions here, but ticket tools free plan have a character limit, so you can only add two or three questions here. That's why we have created the questions template on Sapphire earlier on this video. Enable this command style ticket creation option and choose the ticket codes channel here. Go to your server and quickly check if you can see the slash command you created earlier on this video. Now you have to send the main message to this channel so that your server members can apply for staffs.
Let's apply for staff now. It is important for your server members to answer all the questions in one single message otherwise you will receive multiple submissions on the submission channel. Now the member gets the applied for staff role. On the submission channel, you can see their submission message. You can mark this as completed. This won't do anything, but you can use this feature to mark submission like you are reviewed them or something like that. Here ticket tool closed the ticket, but didn't deleted the channel. These channels will pile up if you didn't delete it, and you can automate this by disabled these options on Ticket Tool dashboard. I forgot to do this while recording the Ticket Tool part, so I'm adding it here.